garden of the small BNB that I stayed at. It's so cute overlooking the lock. All right, it's about nine o'clock and this is day 14. I am walking out from Kinloch Burby. Don't know how far we'll be going today. I'm not sure about the terrain. I heard it's very hard from Fenwood Bay to Cape Wrath. So I don't know. I don't know how far I'll make it. Yes, I cheated. I hitchhiked from Kinloch Burvey to Blairmore <laughs> because I'm tired of the road walk uphill. <laughs> but I get to talk to a local named Cathal with his three dogs, uh, talk about the life around here. So it's no loss really. That's what I'm looking for, an adventure and talking to the local. I like that. It's so skinny, I can't, I can't fit. Hold on guys. So yeah, I, I take it as part of the experience in Scotland. Mingling with the locals, talking to the locals, hitchhiking, <laughs> sleeping at a car park in Inchna Dam. <sighs> so I'm now making my way to Sandwood Bay. I don't know if I'll make it to Cape Wrath today. Hopefully, hopefully. What a glorious day. Here's the second loch, Loch Maginim. So the car ride saved me about 45 minutes of walking, maybe 40 minutes of walking, two miles. So not too much. <laughs> And on my right, there's another lock, a small one, more like a pond. <laughs> mm. Still the same lock. Another lock. I don't know how to pronounce that. Loch <laughs> Amulin. There was another hiker going the opposite direction. I, I think he sounds Scottish or English, maybe. I don't. I don't know. But he's not American, and he, he said, "Where did you come from uh, in Scotland?" Um, I said, "I walk from Glasgow." Oh, is the weather is the weather much better down there? Uh, I don't know. I was there like 20 days ago. <laughs> and then um, he said, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, the weather is kind of like cloudy. I was expecting sunshine. I'm like, uh, no, it's, this is Scotland. Um, yeah, I was expecting sunshine. I was disappointed. Yeah, that's Florida. I said, wrong place. <laughs> Strange. He sounds like he's Scottish. Should know better. Another law. I think I'm not far. Maybe it's just around the corner. <laughs> My pack is so heavy, you guys. And it's so full from all the trail magic resupply yesterday from Nick. I didn't bring everything that is that was in that parcel. I can't. It's it was so much food. I was like, how did you need so much food? You're close to the end. <laughs> this is like a weak food supply for me. Oh, I found a scale yesterday at the BNB, so I stepped on it. I lost, hold on, let me think. Three kilograms, is that right? 
yeah i lost three kilograms 3.1 because i usually weigh 67 kilo last night i was 63.9 <laughs> yay <laughs> Yeah, that's Sandwood Bay. The famous Sandwood Bay. Hard walking on the sand, guys. to go now. I have to figure it out where to go. Where do people camp? Over there, and I walk through the sand and climbing this hill. Oh, it's so steep, all the way up there. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you, climbing uphill on the sand. Oh, my calves! My calves are dying. It's so difficult. I still have some climb, but I'm get too hot. came from there between the two lakes and all the way up here it is hard it drains your energy it's a uh, boggy it doesn't look it but it's soft and boggy wet and I'm climbing this hill I see a cairn up there I think that's my destination for now <laughs> trackless now uh, Three miles in, five more to go. Oh. I'm just walking straight line. <laughs> wow, 
look at that. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk in that low land. Looks like bog land. And then climb up that hill. <laughs> okay, now I have to jump this fence and climb up that hill. Oh my god, I gotta get down there. Cross that river first and then climb up. Actually, the climb up is not as daunting or as steep as I thought it would. Oh. I swear I've never done anything like this. It's so hard. I just came down that, jump over the fence, drop down and cross the river and then climb back up. <laughs> wow, my calf. So much uphill and then the terrain is just, you know, ragged. No trail. Also, I get a little bit more climb here and then going downhill. Thank goodness for now. Oh my god, is that it? Is that Cape Breath? Is that the lighthouse? I'm not sure it's so far, but there is something in that hill. Huh. I, I think so. I think that's the lighthouse. Huh. Oh. Now I gotta walk there still. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Almost there. Oh, I dropped this way. <sighs> I hope there's no hole in the ground. That's the 2.30 bus leaving. I didn't make it, but that's okay. I'm gonna camp by the lighthouse and I'm gonna take the bus tomorrow at 11.30. It's just too hard. <sighs> the bus only comes at 11.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Twice a day. Oh, my right ankle is sore because of uh, the tall grass. I, you can't tell how you're gonna step because if the grass is tall, you just step, and it's not what you thought. The surface is slope. Yeah. I can't wait to walk on a normal surface again. I'm not far from the road. <sighs> I'd be so happy. <laughs> oh, I almost had a heart attack. I thought I'm gonna have to go down this steep uh, hill. But no, we're going around on the side. <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, I better turn off the camera. <laughs> Holy shit. I came from there and walk all the way around. I am just a few steps from the road, you guys. A few steps. 63 steps. I'm on the road. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my ankles are so tired from pushing. Oh. That's, that's, that was the last time I step on rugged terrain today, if ever again, <laughs> maybe never again. And now I have to uh, walk a road <sighs> to the lighthouse. Bye-bye, bog. I'll never see you again. <laughs> this is the road condition. Damn. Maybe there's another road that's better. The minibus drove here? <laughs> Look guys!
guys. The lighthouse. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> what time is it? 3.23, so I get there at 3.30. This is day 14. But I have walked from Milgai to here, the most northwesterly point of Scotland, of Britain. I started on the West Highland Way. It took me five days to complete. And then Cape Breath Trail. It took me 14 days. <laughs> Good job, ship. Bobo, I finished Bobo. Almost there. So happy. Thank you everyone for watching my videos and following my journey. It's been such an adventure. This is the hardest trail I've ever done. Ooh. It's not as long as the Appalachian Trail, but it, it was a very, very um, such a struggle. Mm, not physically, but more mentally, I think. Physically too, but mentally more. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> we made it! Bill is here! <laughs> I ate two of these already.